This is the Bosch Kiox 300. It's part of their smart system and it's optional. You can operate their e-bikes with the LED remote, which is required. And that's what's connecting with Bluetooth to smartphone devices. But let's get back to this. We'll go through the details in a second. One of the interesting properties about this display is that it's removable. There's this spring up top, you kind of push down and then pivot up and you can take it off. This no longer requires a coin battery to operate and there are no buttons to press. So you can't power this on when it's not connected to the bike. The original Kiox had a micro USB charging port built into the bottom. And that is not the case for this one. We'll go ahead and put this back on. This is about two inches diagonal versus 1.9. And even though it looks like that entire glass piece might light up, there's actually a little bit of a, a border around this. It's fairly similar to the original Kiox. We'll go ahead and power the bike up by pressing power up here. It starts to come to life. It says Kiox 300. And there's this warning about distracted riding. So we're gonna head and press this select diamond box over here on the LED remote. It takes us to the first menu, settings. The cool thing about this display is it actually remembers the last menu you were on. So I purposely left it here so we can walk through all of the menus. Got battery percentage up here, assist level, which changes as we select different assist levels and it matches the color of this big LED up here. So we press plus, we get green for eco and you can see that everything here has changed to green for eco go up to tour plus same thing and you'll notice the display blinks and kind of shows you a bigger view of what level you selected so watch here we'll go to emtb and then it blinks back to the the screen that we we're on turbo same thing this display is mounted on the top tube of this trek rail 9.9 bosch does also have a handlebar mount so the display could be up above the stem or maybe a little bit below it but for an enduro bike like this full suspension you know this is pretty well protected and it leaves space to use trex blender mounts which could be like a garmin maybe a headlight or even a phone mount you could use that with the bosch e-bike flow app we'll come back to settings at the very end we're going to use the left and right rockers to go through the other menus and again i've done a separate video on the led remote but these are really nice you know they, they click in they're very solid and and this is like a rocker versus independent buttons okay so the first menu here is basically giving you an infographic about your current speed as well as assist level and this would fill up with kind of a red color and then light red and the solid red would be how hard the motor's working and the lighter red stacked on top of it would be how hard you're working and then there's the full potential so it's not going to fill up until you're completely maxed out we'll go ahead and take you to the next menu here distance ride time speed range with a little infographic charge level percentage very nice power in watts cadence really cool thing about the performance line motors from bosch and in this case we have a smart system enabled bosch performance line cx as you get over 120 rpm so the motor is not going to fade out as you maybe downshift on your way towards a hill and you can see your cadence here take it to the next menu we've got current time and connections we're back to the the beginning and now we have settings so we press that little select diamond icon we can go into my e-bike range reset auto trip reset wheel circumference components control unit basically gives you a bunch of information about each one of the components drive unit it's a little bit deep there's not really a lot you can do here i think this is more for for shops looking at software versions and, and doing diagnostics display same thing so I'm, I'm going forward and back with the rocker, but again, you can select to go forward as well. So it's a little bit redundant on those controls, which is convenient. Get all the way out here to system. Language, units, Imperial, this one's kind of handy. So we'd, we'd press the select button and we'd go from miles per hour to kilometers per hour metric. And change our time, our time format the brightness that's automatic and there is an ambient light sensor on top of the led remote right here so both the led remote and the kiox 300 aren't going to blind you as much at night and in fact this has like the darker background versus like a bright white screen so i really appreciate that settings reset that's it we've gone through those settings and then we have information there's like a contact information website for bosch 
and then some different certificates. All of Bosch's stuff is UL certified, which is unique in the e-bike space. It's very high quality, really well supported. And when you shut the bike down, there's a nice little distance, ride time, average speed, max speed, average power, average cadence, calories, and total distance readout. So you get a little summary, and that's part of what gets recorded in the e-bike flow app. So that's it, that's the Kiox 300. Again, I have separate videos for these items as well as the smartphone app. I love you guys, ride safe out there, have fun, and we'll see you next time.